Hello everyone, Adrian here with another Company Heroes 2 replay. Spawning in the top left, it is a 2v2. Ah, oh, goddammit, I was trying to use the WASD for moving around camera controls like in some other RTSs. Uh, we have Kagayaki, Kagayaki Girls as the British player and as his ally we have Joris, the blue Soviet player. Spawn in the bottom bottom side we have uh insane priests in the red and we have frost in the blue not blue purple i'm not colorblind <laughs> either way let's see what we have an open we do have a maximum build we do have we have no conscripts so it's going to be a, a bit of a maximum spam his bulletins actually is all oriented with using a penals and scouts so perhaps maybe we'll see uh, later on a side tech to tier 1 over here we have uh, MG then infantry section opener pretty standard I could a brand could actually be decent on this map due to the fact that it's a uh, longer range nature at least on the sides over here let's see don't see any Kuba Vagen for the uh, for a frost and we don't see one on the way and we got a uh, similar build over here two volks build the swim pioneer of course being the starting unit oh nice a uh, bad use of positioning the maxim does allow him to get significant amount of damage this maxim will come down does get a suppress there's only three men left which can be a bit of a gamble he decided not to gamble it and allow them to fall back. There is a oh, this is what happened. He suppressed this squad. The Super Pioneers came in to flank the uh, to kill it. All gotta do flak half track first, anyways. Uh, um, that's an interesting way to put. Did he sustain a lot of damage over here? And that's. I think that may have been an accident while well, writing that in all chat. Looks like the uh, let's call Volt Skin here going to be dislodged by the MG. These uh, infantry sections had to move forward in order to uh, spot for the MG because they're at maximum range. And they are getting focused down. There is this uh, squad of Tommies here. They're in light cover. Actually, it's getting some unlucky uh, misses. Volt Skin here, so I'm going to take that down. This uh, squad of Tommies will go down. We do got the Royal Engineers, very good close range unit. The MG decides to display is probably due to the fact of the advancing Storm Pioneers, very nice. And losing overall quite a bit of ground in this British player. Over here we got the two Maxims set up, looks like there's a third Maxim out and another Engineer Squad. This Engineer Squad has, over here, he was the one inside the house. This Max Squad is currently, uh, did hit this uh, Volks Grenadier, does suppress them, it prevents any cutoff. This uh, Combat Engineer Squad needs to get out. He has way too low of health. In fact, he. Uh, no, he won't get wiped. Flame Team is a very good counter to the uh, behind heavy cover Volks since they do receive additional damage. Storm Pioneers coming forward. This uh, Maxim needs to come up. He's facing the wrong direction. There's, there's way too much. Uh, and these squads will get. Uh, at least one of them will get uh, forced out. Doesn't even get a burst off. The, this third Maxim squad will cover this squad. Two bursts and does get uh, suppressed. This squad is trying to come in forward. Does get suppressed. This squad gets suppressed. Looks like he will fall back. This squad. Oh, oh does get wiped. He does wipe a squad in the end. Personally, I don't like the fact that you can max up this many Maxims this quickly. But it's something that will need to be changed. Luckily, it's not as bad as before. Before, it was even worse. One way to prevent this is actually making conscripts a bit more viable. Maxim setting up, one to capture, secure the fuel, one to secure the VP. There's MG34 coming out, I would say that's not really what he wants. 
an ISG may be uh, preferable to, for indirect fire to help displace those MGs. Nice pressure on those Volk squad from the Vickers. Does displace them. Assume Pioneer is still actually standing there. This looks like he's going to build a uh, trench for his MG to give off our additional protection. Nice flank by these folks will displace these MGs or in cause them to turn around. Panshrek by the uh, Storm Pioneers, something note. And the pan the squad is right here. Moving actually quite a bit close to the. Ooh, does destroy the cover, by, which can be both a good and bad thing. Good thing at the moment, bad thing for later on because it's more uh, of a Volk's. Uh, Usefulness sandbag. Angie setting up. He may have vision of these squads. He may not. Looks like he does not at the moment. Infantry section capturing up over here. They're shooting uh, the sandbags. We'll destroy that. Oh, nice cutoff with this uh, Volkswagen there to help deny that fuel. Let's see. Let's check the tech. Of course, we got this. We don't see. We do have AEC research, but he's deciding not to buy one unless he needs to. Or she. It says girls. Maybe a she. My apologies. If you uh, would claim your gender at the end of this video, you can. We do got a 222 coming out, so there is a mechanized truck and, and there is a medic truck by the by the other player. This two two this uh Panzer two is a good counter to Maxim, seeing Maxim cannot do anything. Ooh, a death loop. These two uh flame engineers can be quite helpful to dislodge anything. But on this map, when it's usually large, much more wide open, tends not to be greatest. We do have a guards uh, follow up, which will help with light AT. Uh, he's also getting AT gun for more heavier AT. There is most of that probably is the sound of a mortar pit. Yes, there is. There is an ISG on the field by Insane Priest. But with uh, aggression being applied, it could be dislodged soon. It looks like, oh, nice hits by those that mortar pit. This ISG, it's almost near the minimum range. Ooh, an AEC will come out. We'll get a nice hit on this uh, 2 to 2. The 2 to 2 needs to get out of here. You can't really pen the armor. Follow Shumiakers come forward. We'll fire off Panzer Faust. Will it save the Panzer 2? Yes, it will. He gets around to the shop blocker just in time. It looks like we have see a doctrine, two doctrines come down. We got the uh, guard mortar coordinates, ta coordination tactics, which is a free commander. It's also a decent commander. You get your guards, you get your 120 millimeter mortars, and you get your T3045 mark target. This and a uh, big crew pair. That's probably the weakest thing, thing of the thing, but there is four powerful abilities. Obviously, this is a very good commander. And we also got the Luftwaffe ground support, ground forces doctrine, which we have seen the Fall of Jim Jaegers come down. There's always a reconnaissance pass, very cheap uh, recon pass, can be quite effective. And Fall of Jim are strong infantry, but a bit of a glass cannon. Can't, they're not exactly uh, sustainable as a frontline unit, so you're going to have to supplement with bolts and and they're quite expensive. We do got a reconnaissance pass coming in. Very nice. We'll spot the nearby area. You will see that there is a MG bunker here. You will see there's a mortar pit, which he already knows about that because it kept on killing their men. Or women. If you want to be non bias Look, dude, looks like we do have the five man squad. Looks like there's something must have died over here. Could have sworn he would have more squ units, squads by now. 
maybe at least one more infantry section. So maybe one of them has gone down. Quite a number of infantry squads up here and a close range maxim with an AEC, AEC support. And the cannon war may be called for. Oh, I heard something explode. Is there a 120 millimeter mortar? Yes, there is a 120 millimeter mortar. So that was the sound that sound. I know my sound effects, they're horrible. Either way, we got the guards trying to poke in on this uh, Panzer II, but look, do they have DPs yet? Uh, must be an uh, already upgrade of D two DPs. So yes, they do have DPs. We do got the button, button vehicle, but just at max range, so he does manage to get out of there. It's, the cannon warfare is on the field. Does get pushed back by the flame flamethrowers. Oh, the storm pioneer squad may go down. It's in the open ground. Does manage to escape. Potion Jaeger is doing some massive damage, but sustained. Oh, there goes the Panzer II. Looks like the AEC did die. We do got Stuka Zafus, the walking Stuka coming in. Oh, grenade. Was that a infantry, infantry section grenades have been researched? That's something you rarely ever see. Rare, more rare than rifleman grenades. But I'm sort of glad to see this. Oh, we also got a looks like a coordinated fire operations from the uh, this squad. Maxim does squad suppress the squad. These volts should to safe place this uh, MG. We do got a. Shukas of Fus coming in. He's using Spurs to escape it. He does see the first one come down. He does angle in the last direction. Does only lose one man to do that. And now he does a proper retreat. Very nice use of that sprint just to avoid that fire. Maxim the Max Elms being deployed in the center. Does suppress the squads. The cannon warfare is cloaked but is uh, suppressed. Folks are pinned. Does not forget about it. AEC being repaired close to the front line. ISG applying its damage. Volk squads capturing up. Incendiary grenade on the house. We do got the court. No, that's mill bomb. Oh, that mortar did quite a bit. Looks like we are going to see the tier 3 by the Soviet player. Hmm. At this point, I would say a T-70 would not be a good idea. Though, over here the T-70 wouldn't be half bad. I could see an SU-76 or I could see straight tech up to tier 4. That's probably the best plan of option get out of as early as possible. Maybe actually Katusha wouldn't be half bad trying to counter barrage the uh, Stukas of Fus. But a T-3045 would be a safe bet, or SU-85, in fact, just to destroy any tanks. Looks like there's not any vehicle being deployed and not any additional structures being built. Additional garage troops apparently are being pulled in, sustaining heavy amount of damage from these, this front. He probably also needs to want to get his uh, Royal Engineers to repair up that trench. Because apparently you need to put out bullet holes inside his sandbags. Repair bullet holes and sandbags. AEC does so say damage from the Bekend Warfare. Shuka Zafus coming in. Maybe right around here. Nail, it hit, did hit the mortar, get two men. Does destroy the structure. This squad needs to get back. Nice bundle grenade it's killing six, no, four members. Ooh, flamer on the retreat. Flamer on the retreat. He does escape out of there, but the AEC is on prioritized vehicles, never mind. Oh, but he didn't fall back. The uh, Shavir Panzer headquarters will save. No, oh, he could have. Oh, Panzer Faust. I was thinking maybe he could attack ground and killed it because he was one shot away from dead. But, nice try. It looks like we are getting a bread. Perhaps he's going for a vehicle, the command vehicle upgrade. There is a designated command vehicle. This tactical support regiment. 
Ooh, this vehicle's almost dead. One more mortar hit and it is dead. Two flamethrowers are coming forward. Better get out of there. He has low health. Mortar is still running in. Folks are going to trying to capture as much as they can, but five man uh, rural engineers, even with the uh, mine upgrade, can still do a significant amount of damage. Ishii's doing some damage. Let's see. Ishii has done, was that 13 kills? Yes, it is. Salvaging the uh, the, Ken the uh, AEC, very nice. Get that fuel and munitions. Well, no, it's just fuel, isn't it? It's munitions if you do it on a weapon. The constant sweep coming through. He's just trying to push forward. We do got the command brand. It, it was the tactical support regiment. Ooh, nice use of the frangible smoke. Oh, get out! Oh, there goes the mortar kills it. The company command post is finished and ready for use. Stukas of Pus on I for a, a barrage. Not exactly sure where just yet. It looks like it's coming over here. I could see right here that would be a good line nope it was much closer i looks like he tried to hit that mortar and miss uh squad here the squad will apparently sprinted out of the arc very nice use of the sprint it's a very forgotten battle ability trust me i forget it all the time other people forget about it all the time uh, going over open ground in front of the maxim this squad could get wide one man left and he escapes. We got over here a nice push from the. Ooh, very low in health. May I pop the medic upgrade. There you go. He yeah, did pop it. Maxims, mortars. This area is very well secured by this support weaponry. How many squads? He does have four squads of Maxim. Wait, maybe one of them is MG34? Yet yeah, this this is MG34. The two MGs in the center of this squad gets pinned very quickly. Free reconnaissance overflight. Bet three uh, bickers will deny that area quite readily. I should try to displace the uh, infantry section. Royal engineers coming in. He should, the royal engineers should probably should focus on this evoke squad. Use the command brand to give the bo defenses bonus. What is that uh, exactly? Uh, this cover combined arms improves units combat performance. I can't remember exactly what this uh, benefits will give. Let's see what we have for tech. We don't have hammer or anvil. I actually still go for it. I actually like you going for anvil. Don't judge. Uh, we also got the uh, a Katusha. Katusha is a good option. There is a you know, help uh, siege these uh, support weapons such as the uh, ISG or the, the Ganon Warfare or even just try to focus down or counter barrage the structure. And let's see, where are we going to get to see that barrage? Come down right up here, it does nick the mortar. Oh, just a bit more than nicking it there, right then. It looks like we do got uh, quite a bit, actually, another Volk's Grenadier went down. We see a uh, Frosting Egg get respawned. Well, the, another one gets deployed. He does have one kill, but doesn't have much else. This Volk squad needs health. 
he doesn't have a medical uh, medics or even uh, obstruction or even the Shiro Panzer headquarters. Got another squad of troopers of, of I was trying to say stormtroopers, but full Jim Jaegers come in. Oh, he sees the Katusha go in. Panzerfaustet, Panzerfaustet, Panzerfaustet. It looks like he's not going to Panzerfaustet. He it was his uh, time to shine with that. I can see a uh, coming up for a bundle grenade for either of these units. Looks like he's going to retreat back. This unit sort of uh, doing the. Uh, Spin move. It's try. It thinks it's in one of those MOBA games. Spin attack to win. Uh, guards going to fight to see some Fulgen Jaegers. Fulgen Jaegers are fed it up. So, oh no, he's going to try to aim for the Katusha. Oh, but the MG, base MG did did not suppress it, but he did manage to save it. Oh, nice hit. Ooh, the squad may go down. Nope, it looks like he will escape. Let's see, what is this? Uh, he has 276 fuel. So we also got the the uh, Command Panther, the uh, was it Special Weapons? Yeah, Special Operations Doctrine. But what is Frost going to go for? He has a significant amount of fuel. I'll, Oh! There goes those Falkshim Yeagers. I can't wait for the Winter Balance preview. It will nerf the grenade down to match other grenades. We've got a Katusha coming in, wherever that Katusha is. We've also got the medical HQ. Or the general area around it, near it. Ooh, looks like we got the coordinated fire operations getting some significant hits, or maybe that was the mortars. Oh, I hear a King Tiger. And yet his uh, ally has a significant amount of fuel, but hasn't really invested in, in too much. But he needs medics. He needs a medical uh, medic truck near his uh, HQ, because his units are just being whittled down, mostly due to the fact that I would say the lack of medics. It looks like he is getting a, got a truck. He did, looks like he got the Panzer HQ. King Tiger moving forward. There's not any good counters at the field at this moment. He is going to be facing this a Comet. I would say actually, ooh, there goes that squad. I would say a good, uh, actually I would probably prefer a Firefly at this moment. A Comet can't really maneuver in all of this. And he actually has quite a bit of anti-infantry through the mortar through both teams so I would actually prefer a uh, firefly but he decides to get a comet I can't really blame him for that it's another safe choice massive hits on these infantry squads this one storm pioneer squad looks like he's just got rebuilt we do got a uh, Suka Zafus barrage coming in. He is going to try to sprint away. He could have sprinting over here would have been a bit safer. Does get lose two men, which is fine. Looks like he lost a squad here, I believe. He says four MGs. Still got the mortar. No, wait, that was a Vicar squad. That's what it was. This Vicar squad will most likely go down. Vet five Volkswagen here without STG 44s. That's a bit interesting. I would imagine he would need STG 44s to get Vet five. At least a bit more preferable. He, do, he will grab the Vickers. That's a very risky grab. He luckily didn't lose this one man. He will escape with maybe at least one man. Two of you asking a bit too much. But there's a lot of artillery. He's running straight into artillery. One man does escape through the artillery barrage. Now it was a high risk MG grab. King Tiger looks like he engaged. Looks like he was fighting the Comet. Come actually doing a significant amount of damage at the moment. He will f oh the bounce by the Buchanan warfare and missed by the King. Another miss bounce by the Buchanan warfare. The Buchanan warfare has a pretty good penetration rate, so that's a bit uncharacteristic of it. 
nice at doing significant amount of damage. Yog Ponder is a good option. It's a very strong tank destroyer and very hard to kill because it has a significant amount of frontal armor. A bounce. Jeez, that comment's actually bouncing quite a bit. I always think, I always forget the comment does have a very good amount of armor. Oh, massive hits. That, he luckily did uh, run away from the grenade and he does escape out of there. Reconnaissance overfight coming through. Got another Stukasafus Stukas barrage coming in. Over here. Nope. Break down the center. Does get a couple men. Oh. Can we get the Volk's Grenadier squad? Misses. Katusha's coming over here. Ooh, was that a squad wipe or was it the medics? It looks like the medics got. No, the medics are right there. Ooh, that's a bit nasty. He lost one of his bulk squads. And that squad was actually quite spread out, so that was really unlucky. He must have been too low in health. Over here, we've got uh, more indirect fire. Do we have two Katushas? Nope. Oh, that was a massive split of kills. Like, there was one here, one here, and one here. Those units must have been severely low on health. Nice hit from the ISG. King Tiger being pushed away by the Comet. T-34-85, coming forward. Missed. Missed. I could have sworn on just watching Red Dragon all over again. They had like four misses from both sides coming in a row. Bottom vehicle coming in. Will the T-3485 finish it off? It has significant amount of frontal armor getting close range, so the armor is less of a factor. Mark target coming, and he does get a T-3485. Those guards did finish that one off. Flamethrowers are coming in. This uh, crew, that ISG. Smoke coming in. The tackle. I think that was tackle from the. The, that's from the uh, tactical artillery cover. I did not know it can smoke allied vehicles as well. Huh. I thought that was only yours. Team Synergy. Looks like we've got an aircraft coming forward. Looks like it's a uh, mark target. No, it's the reconnaissance overflight from the command vehicle. Ooh, there goes another squad. Down to one squad member, uh, Frost is. But he does have two of those, uh, of these units, but they're getting hit by the artillery cover, which is a significant problem for him. This medic H2 is almost destroyed. I think the Katusha is going to finish it off. It does finish it off, and now it's the only medics on the field. The AA can't destroy all the aircraft. Looks like, they, looks like attack ground by a 7 pounder, 6 pounder, I mean, on to the Panzer HQ. And looks like the game's almost over. I would say this game will go in favor of the allies this time around. This heavy amount of indirect fire really bled down the Axis squads. Oh, that's also a bit of uh, BS how the Comet can do that. And in comparison with the Panther, can even come close of doing that. It will not do that unless all the infantry members in that squad have one health. Comet coming forward. And this was like the end of the game. This is their one last defensive line before they just start losing everything. He 
He did manage to wipe a squad right there. Nice list from the comment. The comment's coming in, trying to do as much damage, and looks like the GG is cast by the Soviet. And looks like there's a bit of bitterness in the end. Because there was a significant amount of pain. indirect fire and squad wipes. A lot of them are actually sort of BS. That was an interesting replay. It just shows you how much power indirect fire can have on this map due to the fact that it's usually based around this or one of these two sides. This area wasn't really touched for a long time while these two areas were constantly under fire, which the mortar pit had easy access over. So I would say actually this area probably would have been a bit better to hit without that mortar pit in range. But this is Lord A. John saying thank you for watching and signing off. Whoops, wrong button.